Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of my tutorial. This is Randy from Ranch Graphics and today we will be creating a romantic wedding ink blood slideshow inside After Effects. Hoping that it will be useful to you guys in the future. So let's start. Let me begin by creating a new composition. New composition and I will name it placeholder one. Nineteen twenty by ten eighty p thirty frames per second and six seconds duration. Click OK. I will create a new composition again. And I will name it BG or background one. I will again go to composition, create a new composition, and I will name it media one. Click OK. Go again to composition, create a new composition, and I will name it scene one. I will open the placeholder, open my folder asset, drop down this image here on my timeline. Press S to scale it, resize it to about 35%. And press P for the position and move it up a bit. I will go open the BG1.com and drop down my image one here. On my timeline and open the footage folder i will also drop the ink tool just above the image and change the track mat here from none to luma inverted mat now open your media one i'll just close this photo folder here and then drop down my placeholder one to the timeline open the elements folder drop down on my timeline the texture two and create a new solid go to new solid and i will name it mask one I will click OK and go to my shape tool, draw like this, like that, and highlight the two layers, align it to the center, and go to your mask layer and move it above the placeholder one, change the mask to inverted, close it, highlight the placeholder one, you have seen here the track mat, so change it to alpha inverted map, and go to your footage, particles drop it down to your timeline and also the light leaks press t for the opacity of that light leak and make it 30 percent close it and highlight both of them and change the blending mode to add let's see what happens nice so now i have to close the elements here too and the footage so that it's easier to see i will close the assets folder i will open scene one comp drop down my media to the timeline and bg i will also drop it down to my timeline i will highlight the media and press s on my keyboard for the scale and scale it down to about 70 percent 
open the assets folder i will drop down the elements here i will drop down the texture first and then the birds i'll drop it down to my timeline duplicate it press p for the position and i will just randomly place the birds to where i want i will probably just move it on this side here and the other birds i'll probably just put it up and then duplicate it again i will bring it above the bg move it up and i want this a 3d layer I will go to the elements folder and drop down my handwritten letter on my timeline just below the birds and I will duplicate it. Highlight these two, press S on my keyboard, Shift R and Shift P. So I will arrange this one, make this scale probably 30% and move this down. I will just change this to 50% and also this one I will change it to 50% and move this on the left side and I will probably rotate it a bit go open footage and drop down the ink one on my timeline Press S to scale it down to about 50%. Highlight the ink, go to effects and preset, go to obsolete and luma key. And change this threshold to 75%. Change the key type to K out brighter. And go back to effects and preset and color correction tent. I will change the color here to yellow. Choose this one here. I will also change the map white to maybe brown. I will just move this in here. Add some more handwritten, duplicate it. And press P for the position and move to the other side. I will press out for the rotation. I will rotate it the other way, I guess. I think that's good enough. And I will duplicate this ink. I will change the color here. Map black to probably orange. And then I will go to layer. I will create a camera. I'm using 50mm preset camera, put it above the media layer and go back to layer, create a new null object, make this null object a 3D one. I will highlight these layers and make it a 3D layer. I will parent this camera to my null object. Press P for the position of the null object and shift R. I will move my my play to about two seconds and create a keyframe on the position and the Z rotation. Go my play head to the beginning and we'll change this to about 30 degrees angle. I will move this image closer to the camera to about 1900 something and then I will go my play to about 5 seconds and 
make a keyframe on the position and the rotation move forward to about 20 frames and make the rotation to about 20 degrees I'll just change it to about negative 1100 highlight these two keyframes press my keyboard F9 to easy is it and then go to my graph editor make the graph like this and close it and let's try to play it let's see what happens I also have to move forward the ink layers here I will highlight both of them move it forward to about a second or so move the other one I guess two seconds so that it will not appear at the same time so now I will close these folders here create a new folder I will name it scene one and then highlight all these compositions drag it to my scene 1 folder and then I will create another folder and I will name it scene 2 I will highlight these compositions duplicate it drag it down to the scene 2 folder and open by double clicking my mouse arrange this one first and close the scene one folder open the placeholder two delete the image one here and go to my assets folder go to the image photos and drag down to my timeline the image two and because we don't have to tweak this one we'll just delete it go to media close this photo folder here press my keyboard alt and hold replace the placeholder one to placeholder two open the scene three folder highlight the media one i want the media one to be changed from media one to media two also the bg one i want to change it to bg two I want to change it because I want it to be sure that the next time I use it they are independent with each other in terms of the scene 1 and scene 2 and also I will tweak a bit here I will highlight all these 300 and letters and press P and shift R so I will just randomly move these hand letters change the rotation to about here and then the bottom one I want it to move it on this side move the other letter on top here and then probably I will just again rotate it I will also rotate the other one here yeah, I'll probably just rotate this one and put it back on the other side I think it looks better and I will move this ink here and this one on the other side I will close this hand letter here and highlight the ink I will duplicate the other one move it up and move forward a bit that it will not appear at the same time I will press P on my keyboard for the position I will drag it down probably here and then I will go to effects and control and change the color probably I'd like to change it from this one and also click the ink and change this probably green 
that's too much i think this one is good and also the other one here pink so now i will close this one and i will go to composition i will create a new composition and i will name it main 1920 by 1080p but the duration here is already 12 seconds i will go to the project and open the scene one and drop down my scene one composition on my timeline i will just rename it because instead of scene 3 i will name it scene 2 i will drag it down to my timeline highlight both of them right click my mouse go to keyframe assistant sequence layer and i will click ok and let's see if we will play this one so now i will highlight these two layers press t for the opacity and i will highlight this one press my open bracket key make a keyframe here by pressing this stopwatch and then also this one but this one i will change it to zero and then move my playhead to about here i guess i will change it to zero and let's play again So guys that's it and our tutorial is done so if you enjoy it just press like and press the notification bell for my next video for those people who are not yet subscribing please subscribe and for those people who are subscribing my channel thank you very much i hope that this tutorial will be useful for you and i hope guys that you will continue supporting me by watching my tutorials my thoughts for you today guys is that being creative needs a lot of patience so thank you guys for watching and see you next time okay bye and god bless